says that it knows absolutely nothing about those mysterious sonic attacks that have seriously damaged the health of U.S. diplomatic staff in Havana. Correspondent Mike Gracia explains. Cuban television aired a half-hour primetime special last night denying any involvement in the sonic attacks against American personnel stationed in Havana, alleged by the United States. The television special said there's a lack of evidence for the U.S. accusations. Neighbors of the affected diplomats were interviewed who said they have not heard any strange sounds or suffered any symptoms. The complaints also came from vacationers that had visited Havana. That was Mike Gracia reporting. Facebook is taking new steps to verify advertisers and to make all ads on their site more transparent. The announcement comes ahead of next week's congressional hearings on possible Russian interference in last year's presidential elections. Facebook says you'll be able to click on the ads to find out more about who exactly is behind them. More on these stories at townhall.com. The answer to being in control of your own health care is freedom from insurance. Become part of a group of self-pay patients that come together to share in each other's medical expenses. Individual share amounts begin at $107 a month and $347 for families. Choose from three health sharing programs. Holistic treatments may be eligible for sharing. See guidelines. Discount programs available for dental, vision, and pharmacy. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. If you don't want to hear real facts on social and political issues, then stop listening now. Otherwise, stay right here for real issues, real facts with real people. Accelerate your culturalization of America. But when the Dems use the argument that we're all immigrants, but, you know, I want to turn into the Tasmanian devil with two clubs in Miami and clear the roof. There were immigrants that came here because they wanted to be here. They wanted to learn the American. They wanted the right. American dream. You cannot get the American dream speaking Spanish. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. I'm going to deal with topics and issues that will make you think, make you mad, and maybe even get you a little embarrassed. Don't go anywhere. The lines are open. You can reach me at 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5563. You're always so stupid. Did you take lessons? You're just despicable. Welcome back to another session of Sanity. Right here on The Real Side. Always a pleasure to have you with me. 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5563. Always a pleasure. That, see how strong I am? I moved that mic with one hand. Anyway, 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5563. I really do appreciate the time that you're spending with me on the air and in the chat room and texting and tweeting and listen, head up to the website, realside.com. You can watch live. You can listen live. You can take the poll. You can give me your email address. There's a place up there. We send out an email once a week, just once a week. Okay, let you know who we're going to be in the show, what we're going to be talking about, the guests, all kinds. Of, yeah, we do try to sell you stuff, but you're smart. Most of you don't buy anything. I don't know why, but you don't buy anything. You head up to the website again. You can be part of the uh, our Politically Incorrect Posse. That's right. Just click on the uh, Patreon button. There's gifts. There's memberships. For for the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can help the show stay on the air. Not, not that we're going anywhere, but it sounds more important. Anyway, always a pleasure to have you with me. And if you head up there, you, you know, I've got a book. Ram you hear me talk about it all the time. Ramblings of a right-wing, Bible-thumping white guy. All the things you've been taught to hate, you shouldn't. And I think part of the reason people hate the book or the people left hate the book is because I call them out for what they do. My very first chapter in the book is absolutes, absolutely not. In other words, you're not allowed to have absolutes. You heard Xander talking about it. There are, because if you have absolutes, this is what I've come to the conclusion. If there are absolutes, if there are such things, then there is a right and wrong. There is absolutely a right and wrong. And we can't have that. Because that means somebody did something bad. You know, I did this story the other night about the coach who says, you know, he's the kid's in sports. It's got to the point now when you correct a kid in sport, in a sport, 
They feel like they're being talked down to, and they don't want any part of it. They quit. They give up. They can't handle some criticism. What does that tell you, parents? What have you done to your children? When your kids can't be corrected, I see it. I see it happen all the time. And I see these squishies say, well, you know, let's not make them feel bad. No, I want them to feel bad. Because you know what? His teammates are going to feel really bad when he bumbles uh, the, the, the touchdown because he didn't do what he was taught to do or he didn't practice like everybody else did. He should feel bad for not doing as much work as everybody else. He should feel bad for helping him lose the game. And maybe he'll do one or two things. He'll quit, and there goes the weak link, or he'll work harder, and he'll try better because he wants to make the team happy, and he wants to win the game. And you guys who say, it's not how you whether you uh, win or lose, it's how you play the game, you don't mean it. And if you mean it, please don't ever be a team member of mine. All right? Because I play, I want to win. I don't play to blow an hour of my day playing, you know, chess tournament or whatever I'm playing to lose. Because, you know, it feels so good when you lose, right? <sighs> okay, breathe. I said I was going to talk about Bannon. I'm going to talk about Bannon. Relax. So I was listening to, uh, uh, actually, I put it up on the website, therealside.com, in a little video area. It's a 40-minute video. It's Steve Bannon's speech at the California Republican Party State Convention. Now, first, I want to say to my California Republican friends, I'm only talking to you guys. Are you serious that you wouldn't go to the convention because Steve Bannon was speaking? I mean, it's sad. It is so sad. You have a Republican president, a Republican Congress, a Republican Senate, and the only guy you're mad at is Trump. And anybody that's associated with him. Are you brain dead? Why don't you do this? You see, those liars in the Senate and those liars in the Congress, the ones that you said that you want to keep backing up, remember, seven years. Yeah, yeah, we voted to, we, we voted to, do, to uh, get rid of Obamacare. We voted that. We, no, you didn't. Yeah, you might have. But you knew it was going nowhere. It, it, it wasn't political suicide. It was a political kindergarten game, right? I mean, it's like I always jokingly say, it's easy to be a Christian in church on Sunday, right? You're surrounded by all your buds. But then when push came to shove, really, you know, I'm using all those terms. When the, when the rubber met the road, you had bupkis. People saw truly what you were made of. We saw for real who and what you were. And you people that are that are going to go home now, now you're going to retire because you don't like the way, you know, Senator Flake, goodbye. Take McCain with you. These guys aren't real Republicans. I don't even believe they're real Americans at this point with the way they talk about stuff and the way they're doing things. You know, Bannon in his speech said, you know what we need? We need more Judge Moores. We need more Nigel Farage's. And those types. We need more of those. We need more of the people that truly speak for the people. Now you think about it, no matter how much of a Republican you are. I love some of you guys who say, I'm a conservative Republican. There's no way I could back Trump. Okay. So vote for nobody. And again, as I said, that gives a vote to, to, to Hillary or whoever, Right. You're really, you're really a conservative Republican? You're a real Republican? How many letters have written, written to some of these congressmen that are wussies, that are rhinos? How many? Come on, tell me. None, right? Absolutely none. So how can you be a real Republican and you're okay? You're not complaining about the fact that these guys can't, truly couldn't repeal Obamacare. You don't seem to be bothered by it. I understand what's going on with the tax bill. I, I don't totally agree with it, but I understand why they're doing it the way they're doing it. We might get real tax reform. I mean, I'm talking about the budget. But my God, you guys who really believe you got it together, you don't. We'll be back in a minute. More on Steve Bannon right after this. Remember at 
Liberty Health Share. Members are exempt from tax penalty and mandate slapped on individuals who don't have health care insurance, giving you real freedom from traditional insurance. I'm Joe Messina, host of the Real Side Radio Show. Liberty Health Share gives their members real control by giving them the freedom to choose any doctor or hospital anywhere in the nation for real. Memberships are available for individuals, couples, and families that can offer a variety of options for your medical needs, and they're based on commonly held principles and values. Call my friends at Liberty Health Share for more information and enroll any time of the year. You can reach them at 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org and see how Liberty Health Share can make a difference in your health care needs. 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org at 855-585-4237. Tell them Joe sent you. They won't care, but it sounds good. Google has all but banned the movie series, What Would Muhammad Do? It's a brilliant film on the true history and goals of Islam. This is the film Trump's enemies and holdouts from the Obama administration are terrified you will see. Pro-Islamic groups working with Google and other multi-billion dollar corporations have vowed to suppress the distribution of What Would Muhammad Do? When you see it, you'll understand why. Get your copy while you still can. Order the four DVD collection today for $39.95 plus shipping and handling. Or go online and download the entire movie series for just nineteen ninety five. But wait, for those who order in the next 30 minutes, we'll throw in a nine-part series on the Muslim Brotherhood absolutely free. Go to www.mdfilm.com or call 304-289-3700 now. That's www.mdfilm.com or call 304-289-3700 now. Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with ReputationDefender.com. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with ReputationDefender.com. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper, article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with ReputationDefender.com. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com. This just in, before your doctor gives you another antibiotic prescription that you don't want, get this free report, The Miracle of Garlic, Your First Home Medicine. This free report is filled with easy kitchen remedies for common colds, flus, sore throats, ear infections, and more. Plus, learn to boost your immunity before you get sick. Go now to GCNWellness.com. Just like it sounds, GCNWellness.com to get your free report, The Miracle of Garlic. Click GCNWellness.com. Message and data rates may apply. Oh my gosh, that's Frank Thomas. No. Yes, that's him. Go ahead. Excuse me, are you Frank Thomas? Yes, I am. I bet you get recognized a lot. I was a pretty good ball player. You were? Some people thought so. Sorry, we recognize you from those Nugenics commercials. Oh yeah? That's great. So does Nugenics really work? Oh yeah. I really can feel the difference. My workouts are better, and I feel a lot more energetic. I wish my husband would use Nugenics. It's so easy to get started. All you have to do is send one simple text. Text the word PRIME44 to 422. 424 for a complimentary bottle of award-winning Nugenics, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Its unique man-boosting formula is powered by Testofen, a patented key ingredient clinically researched to help a man feel stronger, leaner, more energetic, and more passionate. And you're going to like the difference, too. Text PRIME44 to 42424 for a complimentary bottle of Nugenics. Samples are not available in stores. Text PRIME44 to 42424. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest price filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. 
<laughs> Isn't that just like a wop? Brings a knife to a gunfight. We are back. You listen to Real Side on GCN Live. Always a pleasure to have you with me. 855 Real Joe, 855 732 5563. I really do appreciate the time that you're spending with me on the air and in the chat room and texting and tweeting. And just look at get informed, get engaged. We don't have to agree on everything. You don't even have to believe what I'm telling you. Go look at it. I tell people all the time look it up for yourselves. Don't. Just listen to me because I'm telling you it's true. Look it up for yourselves. I, I, I don't want to be that guy that you think I'm telling you. you got to believe me no matter what because I am smarter than everybody. I'm not smarter than everybody. I'm simply putting out information. You know, we find it two or three or four different places. It kind of tickles me some of these dumb stories. Not kind of dumb stories. Dumb stories. So, anyhow, uh, 855-REAL-JOE. 855-LOVE Love to hear what you have to say about uh, Steve Bannon. And I'm just, I'm teed off of my, my Republican brothers. You know, <laughs> we lose, the Republicans, we lose because we're too busy fighting each other. We lose because we, we can't agree on things, so we think that everything is wrong, and we don't want to get involved. We don't want to put our energy into it. You know, in California, we can't even come together to get a governor elected. We have a, a law in California that Republicans were actually behind. The idiots were actually behind. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know some of my friends listen to the show, and they're staunch Republicans. And if you voted for this, you're an idiot. Because now what it comes down to is this. In California, the two top vote-getters, not one from each party, but the two top vote-getters are the ones that go to the general election. Right, primary general election. Well, most of the counties, most of the areas, most of California is Democrat. So most of the time, there are two Democrats running against each other. Most of the time. We've had like two instances where we had two Republicans running against each other. So when you figure out the numbers and figure out how to make it work and you figure out that the registration in California is like two and a half to one Democrats to Republicans... They win, they're going to win pretty much every state seat. There's no way out of it. So running for governor, you have two Democrat nut jobs, Via Ragosa or Via Ragu, which pretty much tanked Los Angeles. Now he thinks he's, he, he didn't quite do a bad job in Los, a bad enough job in Los Angeles. Now he wants to do it to the whole state. He wants to continue on what Jerry Brown is doing. Then you have Gavin Newsom, who would never come south. You'd never see him down in L.A. You'll never see him down in San Diego or the southern parts of the state. And Newsom's the one that, that prided himself on saying, hey, the Second Amendment allows you to have guns. Doesn't guarantee you get ammunition. Yeah, that's who we want for governor. So both of them, their numbers pretty much take all the numbers in California when it comes to voters. Right? Then you got the two Republicans that are running. I'm not going to say anything bad about them because I don't know them that well. They don't have a long history. They sound good, but sounding good and being good are two different things. We had three. Somebody got talked out of running. We need one. See, with one, we have a shot at the top two. With two, we can't. We will never make it. Ever, ever, ever. And the Dems know if they have two candidates, they're going to get both top seats. Now, there is grumbling from inside of the Democratic Party here in California because they don't like the fact that when they have two Dems, they got to spend millions of dollars protecting each one of them. <laughs> they didn't think of that either. Right? And the way they carve up these areas, they're, they're predominantly Dem anyhow. So I don't know what they... What more did they want? They probably don't want any elections. They probably want an appointment at this part. They probably say, okay, whatever whatever uh, 
you know, if there's more Democrats in there, then Democrats just get to a point. Let's get it over with. We don't have to do a whole election and everything. I'm sure that's what they want eventually. But we can't even come together as Republicans to beg, to push, to make or ask that we have one person run, period. And the primaries are open. So it's not even like you, you know, it's just crazy. Okay. I, I got totally off topic here, but just crazy. We were talking about Steve Bannon. Actually, it wasn't totally off topic. Because Steve was recently in the, um, at the CRP convention. That's the California Republican Party convention, state convention. And he was talking about, man, he is tough. And I'm okay with it. I think it's great that he was tough. And he got tough and he got down and dirty about what it takes to win. As conservatives, who he is, what he's pushing, and where he was involved. Now, you've heard me say a million times on this show. And and I'm tired, you know, even my close friends, and you know who I'm talking about. Some of you know who I'm talking about. I am tired of you wanting to play by the rule. And I won't, I'm not saying break the rules. Don't get me wrong. But you want to play a gentleman's game. They're not playing a gentleman's game. They're not. They're, they'll do whatever they can, whatever they have to do, whatever they feel like they have to do to win. And it doesn't matter what it is. Right? I mean, think about it. They're going to do, Bernie Sanders is, 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 is proof that they're going to do whatever they got to do to get the person they want in, and they don't care, right? They don't care whether it's one of their people, you know, outside of their own party, outside, they will take you down. If they, are, if, if they don't like who you are, they don't agree with what you want to do, you're done. It's really that simple. Right? I mean, are you getting this? Do you even care? Just asking. Again, 855-732-5563. And I really do appreciate the time that you're spending with us on the air, in the chat room, texting, tweeting, and being part of the conversation. So one of the comments, I don't know if you guys remember or have seen. I don't even know if he's been on there. Frank Lutz used to be a regular on Hannity. Have we seen him on there right lately? I haven't seen him in a long time. He was always on Megyn Kelly's show. Oh, she liked him. So he's probably over there on CNN or MSNBC or one of those places. I don't know. And I, I was asked to go to his house once. I went to one event at his house. If I was invited again and given money, I wouldn't go. Oh, his house is really cool. Got a lot of good memorabilia in there. Uh, really appreciated, you know, what he had. But the message was terrible. He talked about conservatism, what real conservatism was, and how the Republican Party would never win an election again, never. That there was no way that Donald Trump was going to win. Would We could not win again till we came to the middle. We'll talk about more of that on the other side of the break. It'll infuriate you. I'm Joe Bassini, your host. This is The Real Side on GCN Live. We'll be back in a few minutes. Health Share. Members are exempt from tax penalty and mandate slapped on individuals who don't have health care insurance, giving you real freedom from traditional insurance. I'm Joe Messina, host of the Real Side Radio Show. Liberty Health Share gives their members real control by giving them the freedom to choose any doctor or hospital anywhere in the nation for real. Memberships are available for individuals, couples, and families that can offer a variety of options for your medical needs, and they're based on commonly held principles and values. Call my friends at Liberty Health Share for more information and enroll any time of the year. You can reach them at 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org and see how Liberty Health Share can make a difference in your health care needs. 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org at 855-585-4237. Tell them Joe sent you. They won't care, but it sounds good. 
KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality body armor, period. Why would you go anywhere else? Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Go to KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I-Armor.com. Advertising your business with GCN is simple, effective, and more affordable than you might think. Visit advertise.gcnlive.com for more info. Take your business to the next level. That's advertise.gcnlive.com. Looking for that edge during those intimate moments? We see many ads for enhancement, but the side effects include death. At GCN Team, we should change the Healthy Body Brain and Heart Pack to the Healthy Libido Pack. The brain and heart are not the only organs that require a healthy vascular system. For proper blood flow at the right moment, go to GCNTeam.com or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. It's a no-brainer. A Big Berkey water filter is the one you need, period. You need a water filter that removes chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceuticals, BPA, and other endocrine disruptors, pesticides, bacteria, viruses, and much more, right? And does it all at only two cents per gallon. Get the original and most trusted name in gravity water filtration, Big Berkey. And now GCN listeners receive 5% off ceramic filter systems using code GCN. Call or click 1-877-99-BERKEY or BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Heart disease is on the rise. Clogged arteries, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels may not be fully detected by you, but the symptoms are there. Loss of energy, blood sugar spikes and drops, poor circulation, and irregular heartbeat are just a few of these that can alert you that something is wrong. Hear how heart and body extract is making a difference in thousands of people's lives across America. My blood pressure has normalized. My diabetes has totally improved. Everyone is telling me now how much healthier I look, and I'm telling everyone how much healthy I feel. I recommend heart and body extract to everyone. Anybody over 40 in the North American continent should be using this product as a preventative to keep their cardiovascular system healthy. Order your two-month supply today by calling 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. Or order online, hbextract.com. Heart and body extract, 866-295-5305. Or hbextract.com. Chad here, owner of Infidel Body Armor. With the shooting in Vegas, there will be calls to ban guns and body armor. You can expect prices to rise dramatically in the coming weeks as gun grabbers try to outlaw your freedom. If you don't have your armor kit yet, you are behind the curve. Don't miss your window of opportunity. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com and click on Specials. That's InfidelBodyArmor.com. You are some messed up white people. We are back. Uh, some of you ladies are being starry-eyed now. Always a pleasure to have you with me, 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5560. I really, I truly mean that, too. I mean, I truly mean that, you know, I, I, I'm I'm happy that you're listening to the show. You know, I, I realize there's 3,000 other shows. You, you know, I make fun of that all the time. I realize there's 3,000 other shows out there you could watch, but you've chosen this one. And I and I appreciate it. I really thank you for doing that because, I, uh, again, the way I sell sponsors... So I tell them I have more than 16 listeners. It helps me tremendously, you know what I'm saying? But I do I do appreciate the time you're spending with us. And look, check out the things that I say. Don't believe everything I say just because it spews out of my mouth. I make mistakes. I've had to come back several times and apologize to you guys for being dumb. Right? I mean, we all make them. For the, the first guy that tells me that he never makes a mistake, um, all I got to say is you're probably a liar. <laughs> it's that simple. Head up to the website, too, therealside.com, where you can watch live. You can listen live. You can take the poll. There's a gazillion things you can do up there. And you can you know, buy my book, Ramblings of a Right-Wing Bible-Thumping White Guy. All the things you've been taught to hate, 
I mean truly taught to hate, taught to be afraid of, because the left doesn't care. They really, they don't. They do not care how they scare you. They don't care, you know, what you got going on. They only care that they get their point across to you, that they get you believing that they've got all the answers. I'm not joking. I'm dead serious. And Steve, I don't know if any of you heard it, but Steve Bannon's speech, he makes a lot of valid points that makes the right nervous. And I really want you to hear it out of his mouth. I'm going to play bits and pieces of it in a few minutes. But I was telling you about being at Frank Lutzen's house. And some of you who don't know who he is, go look him up. Uh, she's right. Uh, Timmy's right that he used to be on Megan Kelly show all the time. And he was the one that did all the little, you know, the mini research things. We got a group of people in the room and they'd ask questions. Uh, what do you think about this? Do you think Trump that? Do you think this? And, and they were all wrong in the end. Trump won, period. They're all still scratching their heads trying to figure out what's going on. So I went to Frank's that night. And, you know, it was it was uh, sold to me as a, you know, a new thing where uh, the conservatives are taking a new tack, a new spin, a new direction. Not a new direction, but a new way to approach. And when I got there and started listening to him talk, I realized what was going on. They didn't like the direction people like Trump were going in. They didn't like the direction even Mike Huckabee. They were talking about how we we needed to get people like Mike Huckabee uh, out of the races, get these people to back down, not run for anything, because they were hurting us, that the country was much more centrist than that we wanted to know, and that we needed to get out of all the social uh all the social issues we needed as conservatives. We needed to back away from them. And then on top of that, this lovely old woman, very excited there. But, uh, she was very old, probably very excited to be anywhere at that point. But she was very excited to be there. And when I knew, I mean, I'm almost, I'm almost hesitant to say this, but I'm going to say it because the kind of person I am. She looked at me and she said, well, we shouldn't stop abortion. I think she was Margaret Sanger's sister, I think is what she was. That's how old she was. Um, Or maybe one of her daughters. I don't know. So she had suggested that we allow abortion for a certain class of people. Certain color and class. And I looked at her and I said, well, I'm sorry to say I'm not in agreement with you. I don't believe in abortion at all. For any reason. And um, I was thinking, is, is that the people we're with? Is that the people who think that that's how the rest of us should? She wasn't new to the group. So it wasn't like nobody knew what she thought. It's not a group I want to be part of. I would never be part of that group. For, for a myriad of reasons. That being one of the major reasons. But number two is them thinking that Mike Huckabee is too conservative, too controversial, too religious to ever get... Elected office. He was governor at one time. Could he make it again? I don't know. Mm. As some of you can see, I'm drinking my coffee in my TRS mug that you can find on the real side. At therealside.com forward slash store. For those of you in New England, STOA. I should actually do that, shouldn't I? I should STOA so they can go right to that. They know how to do that. No. So, anyhow, to finish my Frank story, Frank, um, now, I only talked to Frank for a few minutes, so I don't even know where he's at, but he was the one, when he got up in front of the group, he was the one preaching that the conservatives, in essence, are whacked. But he was also the one saying that Trump didn't have a chance. (laughs) Wake up. So when I hear stuff like that, uh, that's on our party. That's not what I believe the Republicans are all about. Because the majority of Republicans I know don't think like that. If they do, they don't say it. But but the people I hang around would say it if they did believe it. And I don't want people like, you know, Frank would never get behind a Judge Moore or Nigel Farage or, or any one of those. Wouldn't do it. Uh, a Sharon Angle or, look it, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for honesty. I'm not looking for somebody who who knows the right word to say 
knows how to spin an issue, knows how to back. No, no. I want somebody that's willing to put it on the table, be true, and be honest about it. So I know where they stand. I may not agree with them. I may not even approach it the same way. I don't have to. I'm not El Presidente. Right? I'm not the senator. I'm not the congressman. I don't need to approach it that way. I want, you know, what was funny was I remember arguing with some of my Republican friends over Judge Moore. And they were saying, oh, God, you can't, that guy like that can't win. You know, he's not good with the general. He won twice to the state Supreme Court. I'm sorry. How do you say, how brain dead do you have to be at that point to say he can't win? That one of the highest seats in the state. And he won twice. Remember, he got thrown off once because he wouldn't remove the Ten Commandments, the basis for the law in this country. Right? <laughs> Seriously, this is just nuts. So, I don't know how these people couldn't fit it, figure this out. And stop believing these polls that we're getting. God, they're making me nuts. Right? Because it's they're not real. They're not true. Right? Donald Trump was, uh, she was 93 points ahead or something, whatever the heck it was. I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I don't want to beat it to death. It, it, what makes me crazy is these people who, sure, they think, they know everything, and they don't know nothing. For all intents and purposes, they don't know anything. Let me see if I can set this up for you. All right, so Bannon is giving a speech at the uh, CRP. And you could tell that people are very uncomfortable with what he's saying. And he's not saying it's not bigoted, it's not homophobic, it's not anything. And, and, you know, he even makes a couple of points about nationalism. And a nationalism has nothing to do with you're gay, lesbian, transgender, whatever. You know, t tall, short, wide, skinny, black, white, whatever. Has nothing to do with any of that. Are you an American citizen? That's what nationalism has to do with. It. And I think he's 100% on. Take a listen. Actually, don't take a listen. <laughs> you got you got to shut the mute off, right? Okay, there you go. To vote for you for president of the United States to win, the campaign didn't have a lot of money, not a terrible, uh, not a, a lot of organization. First call I made was to Reince Priebus at the uh, RNC and got his best people, uh, Katie Walsh, Reince, Sean Spicer, all of them came up. Uh, I got Dave Bossy, like I said, Kellyanne Conway, Bill Stephanie, and we put together a team in 72 hours. Victory begets victory. We don't have a problem with ideas. We have a problem of understanding how to win. Bingo. I have been saying that, and I'm not patting myself on the back. I've always said the same thing. We know what to do. We don't know how to get it out there. We don't know how to make it happen. And then we don't know how to tell people about our successes, about what we've done to actually make it happen. Right? Part of it is because we don't want the aggravation. We don't want the fight. We don't want whatever. But we're almost afraid to be boisterous about what we've done. Why not? They do. And they're actually, they get boisterous about uh, in their lives. Look at Mrs. Mrs. Clinton. I did not, I did, Mr. Clinton, I didn't have sex with that woman. Mrs. Clinton, I did not wipe down that server. Nothing went on the email. I mean, just lie after lie in a very pointy way. We'll come back, we'll hear more from Steve Bannon after this. I'm Joe Bazzini, your host. You'll see the real side. This just in, before your doctor gives you another antibiotic prescription that you don't want, get this free report, The Miracle of Garlic, Your First Home Medicine. This free report is filled with easy kitchen remedies for common colds, flus, sore throats, ear infections, and more. Plus, learn to boost your immunity before you get sick. Go now to GCNWellness.com. Just like it sounds, GCNWellness.com to get your free report, The Miracle of Garlic. Click GCNWellness.com.
Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap, even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep REM sleep faster, and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed; it's about how much of that quality sleep we get. I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. You can buy one of my pillows and get one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-870-0305 and use promo code GCN. That's MyPillow.com or 800-870-0305 with promo code GCN. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon you'll need a plan and place to survive. Forget bunkers. You're not a live underground gopher. You need survivalist camps, the ultimate fully functional off the grid mobile survival bug out house that's well equipped and custom built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Bold statement, you bet. See them now at survivalistcamps.com. That's survivalistcamps.com. Trust your family's survival to survivalistcamps.com. Back pain doesn't take vacations. It never celebrates holidays. It's on the job 24-7 to keep your life exactly where it is, in limbo. But it doesn't have to be that way because Laser Spine Institute can help you take back your life from chronic neck and back pain. With a less than one inch incision, our minimally invasive procedures have provided relief to over 60,000 patients with a 97% patient satisfaction rate. So get ready to stand tall and live the life you've imagined for yourself without pain. Are you or a loved one suffering from a bulging disc? herniated disc, spinal stenosis, pinched nerve, or degenerative disc disease? Call our spine care consultants now at 855-510-BACK. For a no-cost MRI review and to learn more, it's time to say goodbye to chronic neck and back pain. Call 855-510-BACK to see if laser spine surgery is right for you. That's 855-510-BACK. What have you got to lose? Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. How did you become addicted? A friend? Were you at a party and someone said, hey, try this? Then you got the cold sweats and started shaking. And the more you did it, the more it didn't work. So you switched to the needle. Now you're a train wreck. Drinking, drugging, broke. Your family hates you. And you hate you. Get out of your hell on earth now. Call the Detox and Treatment Helpline today for immediate help. In many cases, your insurance may cover the costs. We can't guarantee it, but we can guarantee we have what you need to change your life for the better. Pick up your cell phone and call right now. 855-700-2979. 855-700-2979. 855-700-2979. That's 855-700-2979. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-557-0158. That's 800-557-0158. Again, 800-557-0158. I can see you right now in the kitchen, bending over a hot stove. But I can't see the stove. We are back. 
You're listening to Real Time on GCN Live. Always a pleasure to have you with us. 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5563. And I really do appreciate the time that you're spending with us on the air. In the chat room, texting, tweeting, and being part of the conversation. Head up to the website. Give me your email address, please. No, seriously. Go up there. You're going to see a little box up there. Just give me your email address. We send out an email once a week letting you know who's going to be in the show, what we're doing, what's coming up, that kind of stuff. And, you know... <laughs> Unless you get engaged, unless you pay attention, right? You don't know, you really don't know what's going on, right? Seriously. And I I get the biggest kick out of all of this. I mean, I, I love people who spew stuff and they really don't know what's happening. They get bits and pieces, maybe off their phone, I don't know, maybe in their ear from a friend, whatever it is, Right? But, you, but somewhere, somehow, you've really got to get, you got to, you got to get informed. I guess that's what I'm looking to say. You, you got to stop spewing what the party tells you to spew. You got to stop spewing the crazy stuff that you hear and see come up on your phone. And you got to make sure that you can back up what you say. You just become a nut job like everybody else. That's really what ends up happening. You just, they put you in that bucket and you're just like everybody else. Don't do that. Don't give them the ammunition. Don't let them do that to you. So we were listening to excerpts from Steve Bannon from his California speech. And if you've already heard it, I'm sorry. But he makes some great points I want you to hear. You know, this is this is guerrilla warfare, guys. This is not... Marcus of Queensbury rules. This is, you know, I mean, look at the way things are being fought around the world. You've got leaders in Europe and other places that are allowing things to happen in this country because they're afraid of the fight. They don't want to fight. Well, I'm not afraid to fight. I'm not afraid to put it out there. I don't care. Because I'm fighting for my kids, my grandchildren, their children, and hopefully you want to do the same thing. And open borders and all kinds of tax dollars for tax dollars for abortions and such, that is not fighting for the American way. That is not even close to the American way. Not even close to what our founding founding fathers had in mind. And I've been listening, you know, to some DVDs I got from Rick Green at Wall Builders. And man, we, we have come so far. We are so far off. From where our founding fathers saw it's going. And I don't know why anybody finds it distasteful because they did a pretty darn good job of setting us up, didn't they? Of laying things out. Let's hear a little bit more by Steve Bannon with commentary by Joe Messina. It is about winning. Nothing else matters. If you want to take your state back, if you want to take your country back, you're going to have to roll your sleeves up. There's no one person, Donald Trump, Mark Meadows, Ted Cruz, Laura Ingram, Steve Bannon, they are not going to get this done. What's going to get it done is each and every one of you and the people of this convention. Amen. He is so on. We are so lazy. You know, in the last election, I know a lot of my Republican friends locally can get upset with me, but... In the last election, it wasn't the hardcore old-time Republicans that did the work. No, we had to pay people. We brought in some volunteers, but we had to pay a boatload of people. And it wasn't because they didn't care. And it wasn't because, you know, the local Republicans, it, they, they're they tired of working. They don't want to work. They don't feel like they have anything to work for. What are they going to win? What are they going to do? They lost sight of the presidency. They, lost, they didn't like fighting among themselves. That's right. We were fighting among ourselves internally. Over who should be pro friendships. You think friendships were broken in other ways. Friendships were broken like crazy from within. Which in and of itself is nuts. I don't get it. You know, nothing. You can't win at anything unless you beat your brains out. I know. I've run for off for several times and had to fight for several things. It's not an easy job, and there's a lot of work involved. And everybody's behind you until it comes time to put feet to pavement. Then it's like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. I got plans for the next 26 Saturdays. Sorry, can't help you out. But I'll vote for you. Gee, thanks. 
It's not how it works. You got to get off your butt. You got to help your people win. And you heard him say that you got to do whatever it takes to win. No, I don't agree. I think he needs to clarify. We don't need to lie or, 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 or steal or cheat. That's not what we should be doing. But we should be exposing them around every corner. Every time they lie, steal, or cheat, we should expose them. We should not do the politically correct thing. I believe that we can we can catch, we can find evidence, you know, on uh, Hillary Clinton and Billy Bob Clinton that they've done committed so many felonies, they've done so many things wrong. But you know what? They'll be let go. They won't go to jail. She's too old. He's too old. He's a past president. They've done so much for the country. <laughs> you can take that two ways. But I don't believe she'd go to jail, no matter what she does. Just not there with you. Again, Steve Bannon. How, how do we pull off the win? We pulled off the win by having the RNC and the Republican establishment put their shoulder to the wheel with the Trump campaign state by state. And we had a strategy. We knew we had to win Florida, North Carolina, Ohio, and Iowa just to get to the table. I don't think a Republican in living memory's done that. And that, once we got there, we had two paths to victory. The path that I was most focused on with a couple of guys in the campaign, because we had the data analytics and micro-targeting to show us what to do. It's funny because I notice that the Democrats in smaller areas don't use numbers. They don't use the numbers to figure out how to target things and how to work things. It's really amazing. We do. We use them in a big way. But what he's alluding to here, what he keeps talking about is, this isn't your grandma's party. This isn't your grandmother's election. This isn't your grandmother's political time. This is all new. You know, when they say that President uh, Trump isn't being very presidential, what does that mean? I don't look at, for clarity, I don't agree with everything he tweets. I don't agree with everything, with the way he says everything. But if you were constantly attacked by, like he is, I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. He's a billionaire. He does not need to do any of this. Come on, think about it. He should be enjoying life. He's in his 70s. He should be out in the golf. He's spent his whole life beating his brains out to make a good life for his kids and himself. So I'm trying to figure this out. Why take all this aggravation? Is he stubborn? Stupid? I believe he really believes in what he's doing. Nobody successful does things just because. They have to believe in what they're doing. And I believe he does. Again, 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5563. I do appreciate the time that you're spending with me on the air, in the chat room, texting, tweeting, and being part of the conversation. And there are so many candidates who are going to shy away from him in this next election. They're not going to talk about him, not going to line up with him. I think it's a mistake. I think it's a big mistake. I don't think you have to have a love affair with Trump. But remember, when people are polled, it's not... They may not like Trump or like the way he does, but every one of his policies does well. Every single one of them. When they talk about the policies generically with young kids and young people, every one of them agree with them. Some of them thought they were Hillary's policy. More from Steve Bannon. Was break the blue wall up north, Pennsylvania. Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Minnesota, we lost by one point. Now, how do we do that? We did it through teamwork. We did it through a coalition. What we had to bring together were populist and nationalist and evangelical Christians and conservatives and establishment Republicans. We had to put our differences aside in order to win. We don't do that. We love shooting each other. Or at each other. We don't find the similarities. You know, in the last, like I said, in the last race we had, we had to pay a lot of volunteers.
because certain Republicans wouldn't work with other Republicans. They wouldn't carry other Republicans' paperwork. Just crazy. And again, it doesn't matter whether you like Trump or hate Trump. And I don't buy, you know, let the Dems go racist, bigot, homophobe, blah, 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 blah. Let them do all that. Let them do all that. Look at how far it's got them. Tell them to keep it up. You keep showing that message. I would, that's what I would tell them. God bless you. Keep going out there with that message because it's helping you so much. Please get it out there as much as you can. <laughs> I'm Joe Messina, your host. Listen to Real Side on GCN Live. Next hour, yeah, 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 you still got me, okay? But we're going to do more than that. We're going to hear from some very, not ignorant, because ignorance is too kind of a word, very stupid Americans when we come back. I'm Joe Messina, your host. Listen to Real Side on GCN Live. Remember, 855-REAL-JOE, 855-732-5563. for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. News this hour from townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRochstra. The partial rollout of the JFK assassination files has rankled President Trump, who wanted them all released, but the FBI and CIA insisted at the last minute that many files remain classified. Boston College history professor Patrick Maney says even if all the files were released, there'd still be questions. Because it's still it's so hard for us to get our heads around the idea that um, somebody like Lee Harvey Oswald, a loner, kind of a loser, could have uh, uh, changed the course of history. President's warning agencies that he'll release all the files if they don't take seriously his order to minimize redactions in the decades-old documents. Meanwhile, the president says he'll make an announcement about the Federal Reserve in the coming days. President Donald Trump says he has made a decision on who will be the next chairman of the Federal Reserve. In a video address he tweeted out late Friday, the president said, People are anxiously awaiting my decision as to who the next head of the Fed will be. I'll be announcing it sometime next week. It will be a person who hopefully will do a fantastic job. There are a number of media reports that current Fed chair Janet Yellen is most likely not going to be offered a second term. Some reports say Trump is leaning toward Fed board member Jay Powell to assume the reins. Mike Gracia, Washington. In one of the most momentous days in recent Spanish history, Spain fired Catalonia's re-